Hello friends and welcome to my channel again. So, so this one going to be from the last time that we talk about the Baccarat pattern that gives you money. So this time I will talk about the tie on Baccarat. Tie is the things that you always see on the Baccarat table. So today I will talk about if you get the tie, what should you do? So let's start. So normally tie always have the pattern. For example, in this case, I've shown you if they tie and jump, tie and jump, tie and jump. But there's so many, so many cases I'll show you. So the first thing that you always say is tie and jump. The second one is tie and super six. If no one knows, uh, the super six is like the bang win on six. If the bang win on six and you bet on the super six, then you get like I think it depends on the casino. Some casino give you fifteen times. So if you bet ten dollar, you get one fifty. Some casino give you like 16 or 17 times, depends. Yeah, but you no, know, sometimes they did not uh, have this option for betting. And the next one is a double tie. So the, the, the longest one, the biggest tie I got is four ties in a row. So tie, 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 tie. And the next one after the tie is can be a dragon or a long line. So this one, yeah, sometimes possible, but as my experience, the most frequent one is a jump, a sub 6, just, just these two. So what I recommend you is jump, sub 6 or double tie. So if you want to bet, bet against what exit before, or bet tie or sub 6. But you know, just to make sure, if you're not sure, because most case that I got from my experience is jump. So if possible, you, if you got tie, you, bet, you better bet against and tie. Just in case, you know. Alright, so that's all for today for this script. And thanks for your watching. See you then.